So you have some political charlatans like friends and so on, you know, punky boy, excuse my language, and some religious map. Is and you can go look up that one there, trying to appropriate um, credit onto themselves, going out there and telling people how well the government um, reacted um, to their position. I mean, I received a letter from a particular group, and I have to tell you, it's in file 13. I don't waste time with stupid people, yeah? Mm-hmm. And um, if you want to engage me, you have to come constructively. You can't demand nothing from me, uh, especially when it's unreasonable. So when they go, though, they get run their mouths and make it sound as though that um, or the government um, would have buckled. Are oh, we going to buckle? If we didn't buckle to make the decision to introduce the mandate, so we're going to buckle to take them off or to address them. And, it, you know, it's, a, it's an issue of compassion. I mean, I've used a case in point... Um, to one of my um, constituents, my farmer neighbor, Alain Villa. You know, his son, Kambui, mm-hmm. you know, is one of the ill-informed individuals um, who work, who worked at who works at the port, yes. who decided that, um, you know, he going home without pay because he's not taking a vaccination. <laughs> On no vaccination. And I said to his father, you know, and then even though Kambui is not necessarily a supporter of mine, I don't want um, Kambui and his family to go hungry over Christmas. So we're extending um, some you know, some um, compassion and to help him to go back to work so he can take care of his family and he can have a good Christmas. Hmm. I think it's because if we had Kambu, you are afraid that um, Kambu um, vote against me. Hmm. It's a matter of compassion. And, that, and and this is where, you know, leaders from time to time, you know, we're not here to to, to prove any any any, any um, issue of um, power and, 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 and firmness. I mean, everybody, you know, we're firm, but we're fair. We're firm, but we're compassionate. And, and that is the issue. The issue is one of compassion. It has nothing to do with buckling or bad backpedaling or buckling to religious pressure. I mean, them religious people who sign the letter, they can't take care of their own affairs as much as they're coming out and, and, um, and pressure my government to do anything. Mm-hmm. Because they're wasting their time. They're real leaders in this country, religious leaders who have significant influence, who from time to time engage us constructively, like... Um, you know, the distinguished um, Apostle Stephen Andrews as, that I just spoke about. And uh, we treat with those people seriously. But when you're coming with your political rhetoric, you know, and um, you want to go and show yourself in public, we don't have the time for you. Hmm. And that is why I never even reacted to anything that they had to say. You All know, right. this, I just kept my mouth shut because at the end of the day, they were just spouting hot air and they're looking notoriety, they're looking noticement.